welcome to a new video. I hope you are having an amazing day. And in this video, we'll be painting a purple monochrome landscape. So before we begin, I'm going to quickly go over materials. I am using my Winsor & Newton watercolor brushes, my round brush in the sizes 3 and 5, and I used my Montmartre watercolor set. So, I chose purple because it is my favourite colour and it hasn't been getting much love with my recent paintings and so I wanted to go full on purple. So starting off I mixed 5 different purples I wanted to use, mixing together violet with varying amounts of magenta, ultramarine, cerulean blue and Payne's grey. The reason I chose these colours to mix is because red and blue makes up purple and so I used variations of blue and red to make up the different purples. I'm still pretty new with landscapes and I had less of a clue of what I was doing but I swatched out the colours, decided which colours I would use as my lightest down to my darkest. Then using my lightest purple, I made a light wash of what would be my foreground because I wanted the background to be left white, except for a couple of clouds that I added in later. I did a light wash of the trees, dabbing away the patches of leaves, doing this all very loosely. Then I went in with a darker tone of purple to add shadows to the lower parts of the patches I had done previously, and going into the tree trunks that would be the darkest. The wash helps me place loosely where the foreground would be, and later the middle ground. And then I went in to paint my branches in between my patches of leaves. Using a lighter purple to the previous, I loosely painted in the lines of trees in the middle ground and a shrub in the foreground and a few dashes for the grass. Then with my lightest purple, I very loosely painted the leaves of the trees in the middle ground and unlike the trees in the foreground, not so much separated into smaller patches but rather one big patch as they are more in the distance and therefore will be in less detail. Then in a darker purple, I dabbed to make a path near the trees and a few more details for the leaves. I tried to have the lightest purple for the first layer of the leaves for the trees and a wash for the ground, the darkest purples for the trunks and the shadows of the leaves and the bits of grass more towards the foreground. I kept the clouds very simple with a wet on wet technique, keeping it very faint and then making a light shadow on the right. In another video, at some point I will try painting more skies with clouds and in different colours, which will be both challenging but exciting nonetheless. Then I slowly built up the middle tones and the darkest tones to give it more contrast.
happy with the trees to the right as I did the leaves quite randomly, not really looking at my reference and so it lost a bit of its tree form. And so I went over it to make it more fuller and rounder. And that is all for this video, thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy seeing these types of videos then don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos. And as always, God bless and I'll see you later.